this will draw out, doesn't it? Should change everything else. Hey, how's it going? Could I get a regular latte? What's your name? Jacob. So as far as actually the build goes for like the entire full stack application, right now we've got the full login and create an account flow set up on the front end. We've obviously got our endpoints working on the back end. What I need to do right now, first point of my little notes right here, is to connect those up. So that it's actually like fully functioning. From there, we want to be able to authenticate with GitHub when you're signed in, which we have that endpoint that's already made, which is great. I'm here at my regular coffee joint, same one from last video. This place is great, Ground Sport Cafe here in Soho. And yeah, we're gonna get going. So our authentication for logging in and creating accounts is now hooked up in the front end. So that's nice. Next step is gonna be, we need to authenticate with GitHub, but I am due to have a call with a friend very shortly. So I'm gonna walk and talk. In the meantime, I'm gonna find the train station so I can actually, train station? It's not a train station, it's a subway. We're gonna find the subway and we're gonna head home. So just been doing a few hours work on this and I've actually done a complete refactor of how the front end application was actually going to be routed. So originally I had an entire pages directory of login, the main dashboard, buckets, a bucket, repositories, specific repository, had all these different routes. And obviously then you can like authenticate someone through the login route and then you can redirect them back to like the dashboard. But I actually decided just for the way that I want the application to work and also how I want to be able to like transition between pages and just make everything look like seamless and super smooth, I actually just decided that I'm gonna completely re route to a single page application structure, which means that I've kind of got one core page at the top and then I've got like an auth provider that wraps it alongside my theme provider and also my query provider based on the user's authentication state and what page they wanna be on. I'm pretty much just updating state within that one page and then that dictates what page actually renders to the client in front of them right there. I think it's actually a perfect use case for RepoBear and how people are gonna use it. So that's how I'm gonna build it. That's actually what I've just done over the past couple of hours and now I just need to pull in git repositories so on to that next good morning we've made some killer progress i'm going to give you more of a intro to what's been going on but look at that this dashboard is coming along the product's actually starting to look sick and like a real product so that's super exciting what i'm going to do now is i'm going to head out i'm going to go for a little walk up to a shared space over in flat iron got some pretty exciting work that i want to get done shortly which i'm going to walk you through i'm also going to show you the progress on the actual build on the front end because then you can actually see how it's tracking but today's work is going to be connecting up github to pull in the private repository 
repositories so that we can select them, generate the deploy SSH keys, and hopefully send them up as well. This has been an entire massive process just to get the most simplest thing done because I'm trying to balance so many things at once like posting regularly on YouTube, replying to comments, building new things that I want to ship out and also like what I'm doing here in New York and different things going on. So yeah, honestly, it's crazy. In the next couple of months, you're going to understand why and you're just going to be like, wait, what the heck? This was going on that whole time. So yeah, some crazy, crazy things happening for sure. For the meantime, we're going to head out right now, take a walk to Flatiron. We're going to get some work done. So stick around. Let's go. As far as office space goes, we're set. We're here in Flatiron. Plan right now is I want to tap into this GitHub API endpoint that I've created for authenticating with a GitHub user. So once the user's actually authenticated and signed in to their RepoBear account, they've got their access token, the JWT, and they can talk to my backend, then what they're going to be able to do is hit my backend to touch that GitHub API so they can authenticate with GitHub. From there, what they're going to be able to do is pull in all their repositories, uh, not the code, just the like names and IDs of those repositories and based on the ones that they select, we're going to then give them some UI that they can go create deploy keys or create access or maybe just like import the repository to RepoBear. Uh, from there, we'll create the SSH keys as usual and we'll just move forward. Yeah, got a little bit of backend work to do there, got some UI work to do, but the first step, most importantly, is just authenticating with GitHub. So yeah, we'll get to that first, let's go. See, we've got, how's this? Nice little dashboard right here. We're using Shad CN UI for the kind of like base core structure. We've got Tailwind, we've got the transition utilities, we've got all of that good stuff in there. So it's really nice and tidy as far as like responsiveness goes. And you can see, look at that all the way down. If we head into our repositories tab, you can see we've got some demo repositories out here. So that'll be for when you're actually like browsing your imported repositories. From here, we're gonna be able to click inside. It'll take you to the repositories details where you can generate those share links. And then from there as well, we've also got that add new repository. That's gonna be where we're hooking up the GitHub logic. And that's what we need to do right now with that endpoint. So because we're authenticated, we can use the access token, we can touch the backend and we can connect that up. So that is the work for now. good progress so far on the build. So we've got that brand new endpoint which is talking to GitHub from my backend server and retrieving the user's GitHub repositories, the private ones, based on the access token that we got out of the previous endpoint step. So that's really cool. Sending that up beautifully right now, completely type safe from the front end Next.js project. We've got that generated all through Swagger if you're interested. And if you want to know what the complete stack is, for those that missed the last video, on the back end I've got Nest.js with TypeScript, Prisma and PostgreSQL. On the front end I've got Next.js, Tailwind and TypeScript. Uh, and it all just works beautifully together. So yeah, really coming along well. Also, one quick thing. Every time I jump back to the channel statistics, look at this. 
thank you guys so much every time i go back the subs are going up and up through the roof that's crazy so shout out to you guys yeah next steps from now i've got a meeting in like 15 minutes mm -hmm don't have a watch on that'll be great a couple of friends coming into this co-working space right here so that'd be really cool i do want to get repositories fully typed and in the front end right now i don't actually know if github provides types just yet surely github would provide complete type safe solutions for their endpoints on their api right anyway i haven't found it yet but if i do that'll be great because then i don't have to manually go out and type out my interfaces so then i'll be able to actually pull in repositories display them on the front end in my beautiful repositories page with my brand new components and that's all coming together really nicely by the way if you're brand new here my name is Jacob I'm a developer based here in New York City I moved all the way over from New Zealand with my wife and my pug uh, so yeah we're having a lot of fun here we build projects and if you're a dev you should subscribe follow along always interested in having new people contribute new ideas and new things that I should work on and right now we're building a dev tool called repo bear which is just a super easy way for you to share private repositories with anyone so like with your tutor or your lecturer or your friends or your family or colleagues if you have any reason to share a private repository which a lot of people seem to do then this is the tool for you i'm gonna keep developing you guys go get some coffee have a great rest of your day and we're gonna keep moving forward one last thing as well quickly i've been noticing a lot of people asking for the theme that i use in vs code so this one is actually night owl i use it on both my front end and back end repositories just across all vs code projects i've also recently put my file browser to the right hand side i am not kidding when i say that this has changed my entire development experience like it makes just so much sense look we've got code left aligned and then we've got everything else on the other side like why would you not want this this is amazing highly recommend you do it too